That's the biggest one I ever seen, man, in my life. I've never seen a boat in that bit before. We gotta take a picture of that, man. All right, guys. I wanna be straight up front with you guys. The goal for this trip was to catch some show bass, but things made a change. Like, me and Austin both sat down, we talked to a couple people, and we realized, you know what? Like, we don't know about catching show bass. So, in the future, me and him do plan to go on a camping trip and catch some show bass and make it happen. But on this trip, it was like, man, we don't know about it. Rapids, we don't know exactly where they live at, and they said we had a small window to catch show bass. But it will happen, guys. I promise you, I'm hell bent on catching show bass this year, and I will catch some. So, what we said to do was go to a place called Tyre Creek. It is a super cool, legit place, and Austin has been on the fish pretty well at Tyre Creek. I don't know if you guys actually heard of it before, but last year, a girl caught a 14 pound bass on a pink trick worm. So, it is big fish out there, and you know what? I was pumped, I was super excited to go there. Now, I will say, I caught a prehistoric monster. So I don't want to talk too much longer. Let's get into that video and I'm let you guys check it out. <laughs> and you ain't spill it. <laughs> oh, good one. Oh yeah, man, to the sticks. Right in the old tree wheel. <laughs> still on there. I got him. <laughs> uh oh, stuck on there. Thank you, little one. Oh, there to go. Look, look. There's the multiple ones. Got him. Oh, it's a big one. It is a big one. Oh, no! Shook me. Dang. That's a good fish. Dang, that's a seven pounder. That's a big fish. Could barely jump out the water. Good fish. Worming. Yep, worming. Got on the sight bait. That's a good fish. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh it's a bow fin. I ain't never seen one that big before. Oh, my God. Dude, that's the biggest one I ever seen, man, in my life. Oh, oh, oh. Goodness. I broke your neck. Dude, I thought it was a carp the last second. But I did too, dude. I, I've seen I've seen one bigger net that broke it at the boat. Hey. <laughs> I ain't never seen a boat fin that big before. We gotta take a picture of that, man. Dang right. Right at that log, I threw it parallel. I was like, hold on, man, like the line kinda moving a little bit. How much that thing weigh, man? I got scared. I got one too. Jeez Louise. Got him, then we're gonna hold it for sure. Okay, yeah, show him for sure. Look at the teeth on that one. There goes a tongue. 11 pounds, seven ounce, both in. Jesus. 
I said I wanted to catch a massive one. You got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Yep. Perfect, man. All right, guys, this is a 12 pound, six ounce, both ends. The biggest one I ever seen, probably one of the biggest ones I ever catch. This thing is big, nasty, and it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> look at the mouth. That thing is so mean looking, man. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> He just took your scale. He took my scale, man. <laughs> ah. Oh, man. Hey, that's it's cool. waterproof. Is that it right there? All right, guys. I want to break down exactly what I did to catch that bow fin and what I actually used. First off, let's get into the particular bait. So what I had was this Sights Raptor Tail Worm. This worm comes in at 10 inches, so it's a fairly big worm. Big worm for a big fish. Now... Couple cool things about this worm. It actually floats, has no sauce. So when that bait goes down with this weight in the front, it's gonna be sitting up and moving around in the water. Now, the next thing I wanna show you guys is the tail. On the end of that tail, it actually has a ball. That ball helps to create some commotion in the water. Now, this is when things get a little bit crazy. This is some of the modifications I do sometimes on worms, depending on where I'm at, pretty much if it's super stained water, or if I feel like the fish are not holding on long enough. So. First thing I did was actually put a rattle in this worm. You can hear it. So this is gonna help fish locate where your worm is at, especially if it's murky water. Next thing, I actually put some Bass Dynasty, the garlic one, all over this worm. That helps fish stay a little bit longer and also it covers up that human scent. These were the things I done to catch that both in. Guys, this can be used for bass or any type of fish. So hopefully that helped you out. I hope you guys can catch a giant bass or a massive both in. Let's get back into the video. Right behind me? Yeah. All right. Got him. <laughs> hey, you are. <laughs> <laughs> License to chill, boy. Better tell him. <laughs> Got a little bass, guys. That 10 inch worm. It ain't no joke. That fish was not getting off, man. Look. Where the hook at? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stuck him. He wasn't going nowhere. That's another one. Oh, my bad, man. Uh-uh. Oh, they're blowing up behind us. Goodness gracious. Oh, he missed it. Oh, God. You got him? Uh-uh, it wasn't good ones in that little group. Oh, that's a good one. one. Come right into you. Good catch. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Skin hook. That got him, though, man. <laughs> We trying to, man. <laughs> Said we trying to. <laughs> How you guys doing today? Who brim? Cool, cool. Ah, uh, worm fishing. Yeah, bottom. Yeah. You guys take care, man. Yeah. Got another one, guys, on that 10-inch worm. Let's see if we can get some more. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey guys, uh, Austin Bravat here. Licensed Steel Charters. If uh, if you want to go catch a big bass, I'm your man. Call me up. We can do lake fishing, pond fishing, river fishing. I'm in Thomasville, Georgia, South Georgia, right above Florida. Um, my telephone number is 229 221 0344. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Playing Hooky. My YouTube is Playing Hooky as well. Um, I love to have y'all. Y'all come see me. Y'all see him, man. Dude, known for big fish. Check him out on Facebook. We'll catch you later.